Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a groundhog for Groundhog Day. I'm going to take one finger at the bottom on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line over towards the right. Now I come up to the center and I put three fingers at the top and I put a dot. Starting at the dot, I'm going to draw a curved line down to the left, come back to the dot, curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the left. Come on the right, wavy, wavy, wavy line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a little curved line out on the left and a little curved line out on the right. I go back to the left and I'm going to draw another wavy, wavy line down on the left and a wavy, wavy line down on the right. I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a wavy line up, over, down, connect. On the right hand side I'm just going to draw a wavy line down, connect, and another wavy line down, round it off, connect on the right. I come back inside the center and I'm going to draw a big flat oval and in the middle I'm going to put a straight line curve to the left, come back to the center, straight line curve to the right, Right here in the center, I'm going to go straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And right in the middle, I'm going to put another straight line. Come up on the left and put one dot. Come over on the right, put another dot. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a little curve line out and connect on the left. And a little curve line out and connect on the right. Now I come over to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a baby circle and I'm going to go one, two, three, four little straight lines. I'm going to come back on the right over here and I'm just going to draw a little bit longer wavy line to fill that in a little bit. Now I come over to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to draw a circle and right above the circle, I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. I'm going to put a one curve line, one dot, two dots. Okay, I think that's all. We're ready to color. Okay, the whole thing about Groundhog Day is, is the groundhog going to see his shadow. So your sun up here in the corner is very important because that's how he would see his shadow. Now I come down to the actual groundhog and I'm going to do his nose black. I'm going to do his little paw circle over here pink. I'm going to do all of the groundhog brown all the way around. Leave his teeth white all the way and I'm going to leave this section down here white because he's in the snow. He's popping out of the snow. But I want to put some color in the background so I'm going to use my blue crayon and I'm just going to draw straight blue lines all the way over kind of to give a little background sky. Now he comes out of, pops out and this is whether or not we're going to have more winter if he does have more winter coming, he'll see his shadows. You might want to put a little shadow, which would just be some black. But I'm going to leave it alone because my groundhog doesn't see his shadow. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. 
here he is all colored in. He doesn't see his shadow, so it looks like winter will be over. Okay, bye-bye.